Hello everyone and welcome to a guided lap for the Radical SR10 around Darlington National. So that was a lap around Darlington National. Um, your fast lap is going to come about lap two. Anytime before that, uh, the tires are too low pressure. Uh, lap two, three is, are very good for qualifying. Um, and it's a short track, so I think even four, five, six, uh, I think the car just gets faster, especially if it's cold like this. Uh, those are my conditions for the lap. Uh, start with T1. Uh, line the car on the left side. You allow some distance. Um, crossing over the white line um, and then I personally break right about the dotted lines um, however it's important that you don't turn in before the green patch uh, all the way till the green patch you want to open up the corner as much as possible uh, because the apex of this corner is quite late uh, to show it on Google Maps it will look something like this Uh, satellite view, please. There you go. Okay. So, uh, if you turn in too early, you're at about here. And if you're clipping the curb before the tarmac patch, uh, you're just not making the corner. Okay. Um, the sharpest part of the corner is right after the tarmac patch, which is right here. Um, so, that's the apex that you want to clip. Right about here. Um, it's a late apex uh, kind of corner. It's important to roll on power smoothly and generate rotation uh, with the throttle. Uh, and on exit, there is no need to um, try to stretch this patch because this line right here will make it will snap the car, snap the rear of the car if you put your left side tires on it. Uh, because it's elevated so keep it on the um, on the blue and white uh, some laps if you find yourself running a bit too wide you can go on the patch right here uh, it's just you might take a little bit of grass uh, make sure you cut across uh, before the grass um, then down into t2 and 3 so t2 and 3 the key is and i didn't do it right you want your tires as close to the grass as possible um because this car uh, flat out generates a lot of power, you'll realize that T3 is very tough to execute without understeering. And what I mean by understeering is not you're gonna miss the corner, you're gonna make the corner, but you'll scrub the front tires uh, and you'll heat up your front tires uh, if you don't align yourself uh, properly. Aligning yourself starts at T, uh, T2. So you wanna get as close to the curb as possible, then create a little bit of separation and then cut back. Uh, there's a reason for why our racing uh, has this patch of um, dirt um, right here, and there's no more grass. Uh, I'm pretty sure in real life it is the same. I will put some money on it. Let me see this. Yeah, see, like right about here. That's because people run that, right? On the sim, don't touch the grass. Uh, <clears throat> not good for the tires and it slows your car down now with the new update. 
Um, but you want to be as, as right side as possible at this point. So you can align your car um, as open as possible or as wide as possible to get a rundown uh, T3. T3, again, I could have been a bit closer, but to the limit of the curb, you try to run the curb the whole way through so you can come back and be as close to the grass as possible here. Um, so I have a few inches um, to work on. Uh, but, uh, it's, it's free time, right? It's free time because you're flat out. So if you're not doing it, then you're leaving time on the table, which I am right here. Um, don't make it an, an obsession, obviously, but if you want to be fast, uh, for free, like without any trail breaking effort or throttle application effort, then car placement is the key. Uh, you want to be as close as, as close to the edge of the track as possible. Coming to T4, uh, the old hairpin, uh, <clears throat> the key to T4 is when you're approaching the old hairpin, the moment you're done, t the moment you're done uh, T3, at the board, see how the board is like, A, there's a corner? Well, look at the corner. Don't look at this board, okay? Um, you look at the entry of T4 right here, and at this board, you're looking at T4 already. It's because the braking zone starts at a diagonal away from the corner. If you're still looking straight, you're you're not you're not gonna make the corner, or you're not gonna execute it properly, or you'll overslow the car. Okay, uh, that's the important thing. And oftentimes, also, if you look straight, you'll brake too late, um, because this braking zone is very important to brake early and light, and not half the car with the nose to the ground on entry. Uh, we'll see why in a minute. Okay. Nice and early and look at my braking, right? I could have done more braking, um, because this car can, but the moment I touch the brakes, I'm already steering and I'm already trail braking, trail braking, using the curb on the entry. It's free space. It's free time. And then the key is this. Here you don't want to oversteer because if you oversteer here and you oversteer a bit too much the moment you'll get to the compression right about here your car will understeer um, because your car will gain grip from the compression uh, and then you'll just end up with understeer all the way till the patch right here and you'll run two wheels across the grass it's a 1x and it will slow your car down for the run all the way up to a <clears throat> sorry for that <clears throat> For the run all the way up to T7, I have the little track map right here. Um, so, yeah. Important to execute this corner. Uh, how do you do so? Kill off the speed before the corner. Look at the corner before it happens. Uh, and make sure you roll on power before the apex like this. So you can generate rotation and um, not understeer to the grass. Here it's flat. And as you can see, I'm not, I'm not forcing the wheel. I'm opening up. I'm not forcing the car. Uh, very good rotation to the limit, to the edge right here. <clears throat> Up to T5, free time. Get as close to the dirt as possible, but don't touch it. Uh, little mistake right here. Now leading up to T6 and T7. T7 starts at T6. Okay, the right-hander starts here. How much you open this space is how much you'll be able to break and open up the next corner. Um, because I go so wide from entry of T6, I can cut late to the entry of T7 and then I can apply the brakes as aligned as possible with the white line right here. Okay. All the way up to T7. Also be careful. Roll your brakes smoothly, slowly, early but slowly because you're turning you're turning while you're rolling the brakes because this car carries this car has a lot of power, sorry, but it cannot generate as much cornering force as other cars can for the same power you know or vice versa uh, <clears throat> so it's important to load the brakes slowly to not shock the car because you'll be steering at the same time um and then aligned with the grass one downshift uh and then the same analogy to t4 um if you're looking at if you're looking at the board here you're gonna break straight uh, with mu muscle memory, 
just like the tower corner at Sebring, you're already looking here and you're already searching for your corner and you're looking right, looking right, looking right. One downshift. Don't attack the curb too early uh, because the exit comes at you fast. Um, let me show it to you right here. Okay. The corner narrows down. Okay. You see how if we go from a straight line right here, the curve decreases. No, the curve increases. Sorry, I'm mixing up my, my words. But... If we talk in more simpler terms, this is more straight line and then it becomes more corner. If it becomes more corner through the corner, um, you want to target the sharpest part of the corner, which is at the end. Uh, you don't want to roll the curve. You can see that if you roll the curve, it will shoot you out straight to the gravel. Um, so it's kind of like disappointing, uh, the shape of the corner. Um, so yeah, don't put two tires anywhere close to the curb even with that gravel uh, or that dirt patch. Uh, after the dirt patch, you roll the power and you're about to touch the curb rather the grass part right here. Uh, I don't do a good job because uh, I'm over angling the car here. I have too much angle. So I have to make just a little bit of correction. And now I'm understeering a little bit away from Apex. Uh, that's a bit more in the detail, uh, but that's a common mistake to do in this corner. And it's a recurrent mistake at this track. Um, to to over brake the car uh, in terms of weight and to oversteer and the moment you get off the brakes you don't have the rotation no more so you're just understeering uh, the moment you put the power so just be careful with that all the way till the patch here you can use it not like T1 uh, it will not uh, snap your car put two tires on on the on the beach patch uh, the breaking point for T8. It's right about the tire marks right here in the middle of the track. However, you want to use the whole track. Um, so you want to be to the grass on entry. Uh, now, there's a common mistake that a lot of people would do in this corner is you will oversteer before you get to the apex. And the moment you have the power, uh, you'll just slide the whole way through. Um, because with this elevation, you can generate a lot of rotation. It's important to use the elevation to your advantage not to have the elevation cause you a disadvantage, okay? Uh, how you do so is you get off the brakes much earlier than you would if it was flat um, because you know the elevation will rotate your car. Uh, so if if your brakes give rotation plus elevation give rotation, it can give too much rotation. So get less brakes because the rotation will come from the elevation. Um, that's what I'm doing here. Here's Look at how I'm trail braking before I'm even really turning the wheel. Uh, and now the car is just quote unquote floating all the way to the apex. Mistake. Uh, you can use a lot of that grass without a 1X and you need to use it. It's free space. Um, and it won't, it won't disturb the balance of the car. So once you approach the apex, roll smoothly on throttle because the corner continues. And I was just throttle play, a little bit of kick over steer. And I'll hear the car's on the limit. The car's on edge all the way till the grass. Okay. Uh, I'll play it full time so you can see what it looks like and just pay attention to my wheel. Because uh, you will get surprised with this corner. Okay. To get this corner right, the car has to be on edge all the way till here. Okay. Um, that being said, on edge doesn't mean, um, burning the tires. Uh, it's just at the limit of the angle of the car. Uh, you feel like it's just about to slide. If you're just sliding, 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 that means you were too eager on power, um, running, uh, above the apex of, of T8. Um, because, uh, a straight line is a little bit right here. And then it corners again here, right? So it's easy to roll in power too early and just kill off your ears. So just be careful with that. Now coming to the final chicane, or the S's, uh, I'm doing a little mistake. I have like half a tire to the white line. Uh, be on the white line as much as possible. Uh, your braking zone starts right about the downhill. Okay. Uh, there's no need to trail break like hell in this corner 
the key to this corner, I mean, you will trail break, but the key to this corner is to time your throttle. Uh, in a chicane, the curve of each corner will dictate when do you time your throttle. <clears throat> if, let's say, we take a chicane like... I absolutely don't have a single example in mind. But the second chicane at Zolder. So not the first one that has the bumps, the second one from the downhill. Um, it's the total opposite of this. So you're coming from this way, right? Uh, if you're coming from a larger radius to a smaller radius, <clears throat> you will throttle after the larger radius. You'll throttle closer to the smaller radius. But this applies the other way around. If you're approaching smaller radius to larger radius, um, just like a single corner, you want to time your throttle to where the sharpest part of the corner is. This is one corner, although you're going two ways. Okay, yes, it is two corners, but what I'm trying to say is um, your throttle will be timed to the sharpest part of the corner, which is the smallest radius right here. Okay, uh, yes, you will clip this apex as well, but if you're throttling here, it's way too late. You've, 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 uh, you've completely missed the corner. Uh, so that's why you don't need to put too much focus on, on the trail braking here. You need to put much more focus on the balance of the car and how well you're slowing down the car um, because you want it to be angled, balanced the moment you um, put the throttle. And you see how early I roll in throttle, but that doesn't mean smash a throttle. That just means uh, your throttle timing to generate speed in the car and your minimum speed should be right before that apex, which is right about here, 119. And then, boom, the moment I get past it, 120, and it goes up from here. Uh, that's when you know you've successfully made this corner. However, if you do like I do, and you're trying to roll on full power too early, right here, uh, the compression and the curb, there's a, there's a light moment where the car, I want to say hops, but is lifted and then compresses and that shocks the car and it can snap you around uh, i'll play it full time and that's exactly what happens to me okay be careful with that don't get on power don't get on full power too early but definitely roll power early to have your minimum speed at the right time at the right place um and yeah use the exit and that was a lap around donington national um, the gears will be shown in the comment section. And if you guys have any questions, please, uh, feel free to reach out on YouTube in the comment section or on Instagram at, uh, advanced motorsport, ADV motorsports, or, uh, for the participant of the BIS radical series on the discord. Thank you and have fun.